Hey everyone, happy quarantine. Uh, hope you guys are all enjoying yourselves and being safe. Anyway, with the new excess of time, I decided I'd spend a bit more time making lore videos and not just spend hours after hours of my day playing Dead Cells, which, by the way, is an absolutely phenomenal game and is worth every second of gameplay you could pour into it. Currently, I have quite a few lore videos that are in various stages of development, from the beginning to near done. So some of those videos should be coming in the near future. Um, a few last words before the video. I plan to release at least one piece of Hollow Knight content a week now, and I'm also working on videos for Bloodstained and Ori. Alright, so I feel this video can be moderately helpful to all those playing through Hollow Knight currently. I saw that there was really no specific video on the infection on YouTube, and ones that cover it in slight detail can end up being about 40 plus minutes, and the YouTube viewer doesn't want to spend that much time to learn about something small like the infection. So now you guys know today's topic, and let's get started. You start the game Hollow Knight not really knowing what your little ghost is actually trying to do. Maybe he's an explorer, but you don't really know. The NPCs in the world just keep talking about something quite strange that affected the kingdom so much and how the world now is so much different from what it used to be. You will hear of a sickly air that fills the caverns and the entire world of Hollow Nest and how this infects the minds of everyone in the caverns. And you hear talk of how enemies in the game are so mindless and are still ambling around doing their mindless and useless tasks. And this just keeps happening. The NPCs will reference this a ton. You might still wonder, well, what are they talking about? What does it mean? Uh, some NPCs help us to define the infection while making this deeper as well, such as Quirrell. Did it sadden you to see those miners below, still laboring at their endless task? Even overcome, strong purpose has been imprinted upon their husks. We also get some more clarity on this strange thing in the Hunter's Journal, the plague. The infection, the madness that haunts the corpses of Hallownest. So from here, a player can start defining what this infection really is. Maybe. But that journal entry is of the game's final boss, so many early game players still won't know that much about the effect infection. So now, I'll tell you a little bit about that and the timeline. I'll make this brief while still covering all the important details you need. Back. A long time ago, in the early, maybe early, history of Hellenest, a higher being, the Radiance, ruled the land under a hive mind. She controlled all the bugs in the land via this hive mind. And then, from another land, another high, higher being, or a godlike creature, came the Worm. A worm is a massive creature with many limbs and an ability to see slightly into the future. Um, this ability is called Foresight, and the Worm possessed this. Now. This being likely also wanted to rule the kingdom of Hallownest, so he gave all the bugs trapped under the Radiance's hive mind sentience and began to develop his own empire. Now, the Radiance started to become forgotten around this time as all of her old followers started to worship the Pale King and forget about her. So, using the skills that she possessed, which would be control over the dream realm and mind of the other bugs throughout the kingdom, she invaded their minds and started to give them all dreams. Um, these dreams would infect the mind of the people that had it, and everyone dreamed this, and it started to wipe out the kingdom. The king tried to stop it with multiple attempts that I'll explain in other videos, but they all failed, and the infection started to spread more and more throughout the entire kingdom without being combated, and it pretty much wiped out Hellownest. Now, you may be wondering, what does this infection do? Well, to say it in simple terms, it brings bugs back to their base instinct. Any semblance of self and sentience these bugs used to have are now gone as they lose this to the hive mind of the Radiance. The bug's mind becomes fragmented, and they can't think for themselves, instead becoming controlled by the Radiance. This is clear in the character Myla, who throughout the game goes through the various stages of infection, from being uninfected to becoming infected, trying to kill your knight and losing all control of herself. This perfectly demonstrates another facet of the infection, 
Infected creatures have a tendency to attack bugs such as your knight who are uninfected. Even though the infected bugs lose so much, they gain a little bit as well from the infection. Bugs who embrace the infection gain more strength and courage, as all they pretty much are now is a bodyguard. Uh, you can see this in the mantis traders who rejected the mantis tribe and went out on their own embracing the infection. They took this into themselves and they became much stronger, but lost all their mind and became primitive. The infection can have some physical manifestations as well, which we see most notably in the infected crossroads biome, which happens after you kill the broken vessel or one of the dreamers. The crossroads area becomes filled with the infection, transforming enemies into more mindless versions of their self and giving those same enemies giant orange bulges of infection that take over and control their body. The geography is affected as well as certain exploration routes become completely blocked off by giant solid walls of infected goop. These goop things are also present throughout the entire biome on vines of infection and the infection takes over the floor in certain parts of the biome. Um, there's also an enemy called the light seed, which is a vessel of the infection, and these can infect creatures they come into contact with, which we see as the light seeds help to revive the broken vessel and use it as a servant to the radiance. Um, a few additional notes on the infection that didn't make it into the main video, but are kind of important. First off, infected enemies give off orange particles when hit, uh, so that when an enemy gives off orange particles, they're most likely infected. Uh, secondly, the infection calls out to bugs in dreams by being very appealing, apparently. Um, apparently, it has a very sweet taste and very sweet smell, and the visions and powers it says it can grant are incredibly appealing with strong characters such as the hunters considering that they could possibly embrace the infection to become more powerful themselves all right everyone thank you so much for watching i'm ravenbane hopefully you enjoyed this brief little video uh please subscribe to stay tuned for some hollow knight content thanks